Welcome back, Playhouse Gang. I'm back with another video, as y'all can tell. And this time, it's a little different. I'm gonna be doing as many makeup routines or like tutorials that I can do for y'all. Cause I have 30 days with no school. Well, 30 days at home. I have homeschooling or whatever. So we're basically gonna do something like 30 days of quarantine. Cause I mean, I'm here for 30 days. Might as well drop some bangers on YouTube. And the bangers are going to be um, makeup tutorials. Some are going to be some different, you know. So, this is today's look. Without anything further to do, let's get right into the video, y'all. So, y'all, welcome back. I'm going to start off by doing my brows off camera. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution um, eyelid primer and set my eyes for this bomb shadow that we're about to put on there. Next, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. I'm pretty sure that's the exact name of it. And then I'm going to start off by going in with the purple shade in the crease area to just have that dark effect. And then I'm going to go in with the pink on top. And I'm going to do a lot of back and forth between the two for the lines of demarcations and to really make those two shadows pop on top of each other. I really apologize as well for the angle that I have the camera in. It's really bad, I know, but please bear with me. You can see one eye, and I do the exact same thing on the other eye, so just trust me on this. I really feel like the Makeup Revolution Eyelid Primer helped these two colors to pop together even though the Juvia's Place palette is like very pigmented but look how these colors are popping y'all. Those three together like the products well, the two colors and then the primer with it I really feel like it helped. And now I'm going in with the same primer to cut my crease do a little half crease cut effect not sure what that's called but as you can see i'm just cutting the metal and not the whole eyelid and now i am going in with that shimmery blue shade on top of the cut crease from the same palette that i've been using now i'm going in with my tart eyeliner and i'm gonna um, put my lashes on and do the eyeliner then i'm going in with my fenty beauty foundation in the shade 410 and I'm going to put that all over my face. Y'all know how to do foundation. Now I'm taking this brush and blending it in as much as I can. Because I did use a lot of foundation and that was a mistake. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer by Sephora in the shade 14. And to lighten it up, I'm going to go in with another concealer that I got from their hair store, which actually works pretty, pretty good. Now here's the part where I'm going in with the HD concealer to lighten up my original concealer that I put on from Sephora, which I said was a shade 14. So that's basically all, all I'm doing in this clip. So in the makeup class that I went to, my teacher was makeup by Jess and she really taught me that using these little sponges really works like the cheapest things may be the best products to use. So that's why I'm going in with this little sponge and blending everything out. As you can tell, it's doing heck what any other brush or beauty blender could do for I think I got a pack of like 20 for a dollar 89 or something. So that just shows you cheap products work too. Yeah. 
Now I'm going in with my contour brush by Real Techniques and just buffing or blending or whatever you want to call it out that cream contour, the dark one. Um, I really like cream contours, especially when it comes to defining and sculpting the face. At this point, I'm about to push in my setting powder with a brush that I will probably link in the description box with all the other products that I use because I am not doing too good with naming the products. So I'm going to let y'all know in the description box below if you want to know what I used and all of that. Now I'm going in with my True Complexion Contour Palette and I'm going to take the shade Sculpt and put this all over my face where I contoured just to bring a little bit more dimension back into the face and warm it up a little bit. And this actually helps to um, settle that dark brown cream contour that I had since it was so dark on my face. Now I'm just taking a brush and basically dusting the rest in the excess powder off that I was using. Then I'm going to go in with a pink and red shade from the Crayon Case palette. And I mix those two together and I'm going to just put those on my cheeks to act as blush. Yes, I did skip a step and you know I had to go back to it because we always have to have our nose smashed to the gods, honey. So... That's what I'm doing right now. I am contouring my nose so my nose could be snatched, period. After I spray my setting spray, I'm going in with a smaller brush and I'm going to add some purple eyeshadow underneath my eyes on my bottom lash line to create that um, purple dramatic look at the bottom. And then I'm going to go in and put the whites pencil by NYX under my eye and my waterline. This step is very self-explanatory. I am basically just putting mascara on my bottom and top lashes um, to make my bottom lashes pop, especially with that white waterline, and to seam my real lashes with the falsies. So now I am taking a makeup wipe to remove any of the foundation fallout um, powder or anything else that happens to get on my lips during the process. Then I'm going in with a brown shade from another Juvia's Place palette that I have. And that's going to act as a liner for me because I love that brown look. And then I ended up putting too much of the gloss that I had and it became like an ugly color so I wiped it off and then I tried it again and it looked better the second time as y'all can tell now I'm going in with my wet and wild um, spray to just set everything in and I really like it, it really looks good you know it made everything come together and look seamless i want to truly thank you guys for watching and coming to my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and of course i didn't do a proper outro i'm sorry about that but the next video will have an outro i really love you guys and i hope to see y'all in the next video bye